Hello, in this EMU Death video, I'm going to show you all the hotkeys, the shortcuts for RetroArch. So RetroArch is just right here. It allows you to load a bunch of different emulators up. You can load up like a Dolphin emulator for Wii games. You could, you know, load uh, PlayStation 1 games. You could load up PS2 games. You can load a Dreamcast. That's the one I'll be testing because you need RetroArch on Steam Deck you know via emu deck i mean to actually play dreamcast games where some of the other you know consoles have their own specific emulator through emu deck dreamcast does not but this is similar or the same for the other emulators as well i'm going to open up retroarch click play i'm going to go down to dreamcast create a taxi click run Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at the commands. First one I'm gonna look at is fast forward. And as you can see, it's auto loaded and I'll show you the load states in a second. To do fast forward, you press the select button, which is, just so, just so you know, select button is just this one over here. Start button is this one on the right over here, the hamburger menu button. That one there, sorry, I pressed, I showed Y first, the one the three lines. There we go. And to do fast forward, you press the select and R2. As you can see, everything moving faster. And if you press it again, it turns off. So that's fast forward. Let me show you save state and load state. So save state, if you press the select button plus R1. So you can see saving down there, saved. So I'm just gonna go a little further ahead and load the state so you can actually see that you know it is loading. Game over, that's fine. To load it, you just press the select button here and L1. There you go, it's now loaded. So we've covered fast forward, save state, load state. Now we're gonna cover, you know, on the list of commands on the website, it lists, if you press select and A, it lists it as pausing. But for me, it literally just takes a screenshot. So, ignore that if you do see that on there for me on dreamcast that's what it does i want to show you that just so you know and if you press l3 and r3 together so the two analog sticks in it takes you just to the retro arc settings so you can you know do save state and low state here you can change the state slot you can you know do different options for the different cores you can change the controls recording i mean there's a lot of stuff that you can do and you can change the video, all sorts of stuff, check out the achievements, cheats, all that sort of stuff. Next, and the final one is to, if you press the select and start button at the same time. Uh, let, actually, hang on one second, let me go off, go back onto it. I just messed that up. Okay, so I'm gonna load the state. There we go. So if I press select and start at the same time, it just quits out of RetroArch. Just something to bear in mind if you do want a quick command for that. So that's all the shortcut keys, you know, the hotkeys. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group, link in the description. And if you need any links, feel free to post there as well. If you have any questions and you just want to post in the comments, feel free to. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what EMU deck and Steam deck content you would like to see next. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.